Ugh. Hey, Peter, I, I can't walk. Hello everyone, my name is Bait, and today I'm going to be taking a look at Blank Banshee's 4D on vinyl. 4D is the latest full-length album from Blank Banshee, creator of such amazing albums like Blank Banshee Zero, Blank Banshee One, Blank Banshee, and Blank Banshee actually released it on vinyl. Blank Banshee is an artist I've wanted to talk about on my channel for quite a while now, but I haven't had the chance to because I actually don't own anything physical from him. Whenever Blank Banshee's records go on sale, uh, they usually sell out within seconds, and the resale cost for them can be pretty expensive at some times. So when I heard that 4D was going to get a physical release like his other projects, I was quick to hop on Hologram Bay and get myself a copy. Also on the website, they had CDs, a cassette, and some other merchandise like clothing, like a t-shirt, a hoodie, and some stickers. I already picked up the record, but seeing as this is my first Blank Banshee video, I just want to kind of talk about him a little bit as well. Because I've been listening to Blank Banshee for quite some time now, um, especially when the whole, you know, big Vaporwave era sort of hit back in around like 2013, 14, going into 15 a little bit as well, maybe. If you haven't heard of Blank Banshee, you may have actually heard some of his music. Uh, a lot of it was used in a lot of old like Vaporwave edits or even some old CSGO edits and a lot of those old Simpson Wave videos you'd see floating around the internet as well. Most of those songs were from his first album called Blank Banshee Zero, which has such hits like Teen Pregnancy and Dreamcast. And really the whole album is just full of amazing songs. But I don't have that album with me today, so we're just going to be looking at the one I do have today, which is 4D. So let's have a look at it now. Here is the front cover to uh, 4D. Uh, it's been keeping with the same kind of format as all other Blank Banshee album covers, where it just has the Blank Banshee name going atop the, uh, or the top of the cover, uh, centered as well, with the same sort of like italic font. Uh, looks nice. However, what's been different, uh, uh, there's a bit of a difference here with the actual album artworks. Usually Bang Banshee has a, a color gradient on the background and then it has, he has some sort of like 3D object in the in the middle of it, whether that be a bunch of cubes or a dove or even Lara Croft's head. But this time he's going for a uh, an actual painting of what seems to be a, um, we've got a girl here holding the earth, which is glowing pink, like, a, like an orb, like a crystal ball. And then there's lightning strikes behind her yeah i didn't really i saw this album cover as well and i thought what the fuck is that all about on the back you just have a bit of a purple glow some more lightning there 4d and then here actually has all of the uh, the track list here and you've even got blank banshee's uh symbol there made in canada canada eh this is the second record we've we've ta taken a look at that was made in canada i ended in 2023 with ava boy made in canada and I'm starting 2024 with Blank Banshee, who's also Canadian. Now, despite this release only having one vinyl record, it actually comes in a gatefold. Look at that. I do like when records do that. I like, I do like a gatefold, all right? And here, it just seems to be a little bit minimalist. A little bit minimalist here. We've just got a plain white background. You have the orb there. The earth isn't inside of it. It's just some sort of purple little glass ball, orb, crystal ball, whatever. Bit of shadow there, and it's been shattered. And in the corner there, what does it say? It just says 2023 Hologram Bay, which is where you can get Blank Banshee's records from. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention as well the spine. The spine threw me off guard a little bit when I was looking at it. Usually when you look at the spine's records, they go that way, and this one goes the other way. Um, and this one just says Blank Banshee in the corner there, again with his little icon. Oh my God, I wonder if the camera will focus on that. Oh my God, it does. Yeah, see, Blank Banshee right there. And on the other end, it says 4D and that sort of cool looking, cool looking font he's got going on there. It reminds me a bit of, um, I think uh, Tyler the Crazy Eagle record actually did this where it's a gatefold even though it just houses one LP, which I think is still kind of cool if you want to house some more of your artwork. And, uh, you know, someone like Blaine Banshee, who's an artist that has quite a lot of style with their, uh, with their album artwork and the sort of artwork associated with the music. So it's a nice little touch to have that as well. Um, especially for like physical versions. I think, I feel like I always, I say this, I feel like I repeat myself. I feel, hey, I feel like a broken record, am I right? Um, <clears throat> I feel like whenever there's a physical release for an album, it's always best to sort of get the most out of, uh, out of you know, having a physical format. Now, before I have a look at the vinyl itself, um, there were actually some stickers included. Now, you can buy stickers from Hologram Bay uh, with Blank Banshee's designs on them. I didn't, but they still gave me some stickers for free, so let's have a look. The first one is of the album cover here, except the text has been uh, changed. It has this more sort of like scratchy, 
almost like a um, metal band kind of um, font. And I don't mean the Metallica font. I mean like, you know, the sort of like scratchy kind of look to it. Oh no, please focus, there we go. Which looks pretty cool there. We also have this other sticker as well. Again, like sort of like a rounded square one. And it says here, Fourth Dimension Psychics, which I'm not too sure what that's referring to. Maybe Fourth Dimension 4D is something more, like maybe some lore behind the album, I'm, I'm guessing. 4D, Fourth Dimension. Uh, Psychics are pretty interesting there. You've got this sort of like purple and, uh, and red sort of gradient with a little bit of blue and, and green, this sort of like swirly effect. Next up, we also have two holographic stickers here as well, which I saw and I thought these are really cool. I guess they're the hologram bay, hologram stickers, I guess. Of these, look, you've got three pyramids there with some th uh, three palm trees, and it just says Hologram Bay all around the edge of it there. But that looks really, really nice. I'm glad this new, new my new phone's actually picking it up. It's doing it justice. I wish I had this when I did the Echo 2K video with how small those stickers were. But that one looks really sick. And then finally, we also have the blank banshee, sort of scratchy text there on a sticker. This one's also holographic. And I've got to say, these stickers are really, really nice. Uh, like I said, you can buy other stickers on the website, but I, I I didn't see these ones, unless I'm completely blind, which, as you guys know, I'm struggling a little bit. Um, but the, the, these two are especially my favourites. Uh, I may be biased to the holographic, but I do think these are really, really nice. Right, onto the vinyl. So the vinyl comes in a plain black inner sleeve, and taking this out, this was actually a surprise to me, but this is actually coloured. Um, it's like a translucent purple, a really nice colour. Um, I just thought it was going to be black, um, to be honest. I don't know why I assumed that. I just I think because Blank Banshee, when he usually releases records, they usually come black first, and then when they have a repress, they're coloured. Unless I've got that completely wrong, and I've just been assuming uh, the wrong thing. This is almost like a grape, uh, like, purple translucent colour. And I'm going to say, that looks really nice. And to match, you've got the label there of the, uh, of the orb as well for the uh the label and then for Sider, it just it just has all of the different um song tracks that correspond to what's on this side uh let's see what's etched into the inner is there anything etched here anything uh, interesting it's just a standard vinyl with some sort of serial numbers there and then on the other side again side b very much of the same with the same sort of crystal ball uh label there and all the tracks that go around it. And that's going to do it for Blank Banshee's 4D on vinyl. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments, are you guys a fan of Blank Banshee? Do you have any of his other records? Uh, did you pick up this new record? Or maybe you got it on the CD or even cassette if you're a bit of a horny bastard. Let me know in the comments. And um, is there anything else I want to say before I end this off? Oh yeah, if you haven't been keeping up with my community posts, I've also been posting some shorts on YouTube as well. Um... Just to some previous records I've already covered on my channel. I'm just sort of going through my back catalogue just to make them shorts because the people like watching YouTube shorts. Me personally, I'm not the huge, I'm not the biggest fan of YouTube shorts, but people like them. So if you want to watch them, you can. Won't replace normal content videos, don't worry about it. But um, whenever I do a video on a, a new record that I show off or whatever, on the same day, I'll also make a YouTube short version of it as well. So this video will be going up and then if you want to check the shorts page, um, you won't be notified about shorts because I don't want to spam you guys, whatever. Um, but there will be a shorts video if you want to check that out as well. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, Happy New Year. I know I'm a bit late with this video, but th I didn't know when this record was going to arrive and I was just sort of holding out for it. So, apologies about that, but don't worry, we'll be soon back to more record videos in the future. So, thank you so much for watching and take care.